In this video presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to practice trigonometric derivatives by doing problem 17 out of the textbook. Problem 17 gives us f of x is equal to sine of x times secant of x divided by 1 plus x times tangent of x. Now this is the first of our more complicated trigonometric derivatives that we're going to use for practice. This is going to involve all of our, trigon uh, all of our derivative techniques we've learned so far. Uh, product rule, quotient rule, and then all our trig derivatives. But the best advice that I can give you for any derivative problem, any derivative problem, is to simplify it as much as you can before you take the derivative. So we'll start out by doing that. f of x is equal to sine of x, and secant of x is 1 over cosine of x. This is divided by 1 plus x tangent of x. So on the numerator, we have sine over cosine. So this is equal to the tangent of x divided by 1 plus x tangent of x. Let's rewrite that up there so it's out of our way. And that's about as simple as we can make it in terms of doing our derivatives. This problem is going to beg for us to do the quotient rule. So that's when we have f divided by g. So f is equal to the tangent of x. The derivative of f, f prime, is equal to secant squared of x. And then g is going to be equal to 1 plus x times the tangent of x. g prime derivative of 1 is 0, so it's a derivative of x tangent of x. This is going to be a product rule. So derivative of x is 1 times tangent of x plus x times the derivative of tangent of x, which is secant squared x. Now let me, just to be thorough, write down our quotient rule formula, just in case anybody doesn't remember it. Uh, g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. So we have f, we have f prime, we have g, and we have g prime. So let's plug everything into our quotient rule, and let's get the derivative. f prime of x is equal to g 1 plus x tangent of x times f prime, which is secant squared of x, this is minus f, which is tangent of x, times g prime, which is tangent of x plus x secant squared of x. This is all divided by 1 plus x tangent of x squared. The next thing we're going to want to do is simplify this expression to see if we can get it in nicer form. This is actually going to be fairly easy to do. Let me rewrite the numerator. Well, let's rewrite the whole expression, really. f of x is equal to multiplying out the secant squared x. Secant squared x plus x times the tangent of x times secant squared x. And this will be minus tangent times tangent, tangent squared x minus x tangent of x times secant squared x. And this is divided by 1 plus x tan x squared. We have a positive x tangent times secant squared minus x, so those canceled. And what we get, if we clear up a little bit of room here, is that the first derivative is equal to secant squared x minus tangent squared x over 1 plus x tangent of x squared. Now, it may be a little less familiar to you than you would like it to be, but if you recall from your you know, various trigonometric identities, secant squared x minus tangent of x is equal to 1. 
So our first derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 1 over 1 plus x tangent of x squared. And there we have it, the derivative in the most simplified form.